What's up everyone? Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, another overcast day here. It rained real hard last night. And uh, guess who has no school? Me. Out of grace, no school today. Got a text last night around, I don't know, 7.30 or so and said, school was canceled by the mayor due to heavy rain. Which means either what? School on Saturday. Saturday, or they'll make us make they'll make her make it up uh, spring break or something like that. But such is life here. But anyways, uh, I guess they'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, you got to check this out. You got to see what Lutlut's doing this morning. She started this last night. And she's doing it this morning. Lut is making. Paper. Pack. Packs of pepper. Show the packs of pepper, look. That's for the store. Yeah. Um, you can buy the packs of pepper, but if you buy them, what's your profit on that? Four pesos. Like four pesos uh, already made. Yeah. Uh, what she's doing is she's making her own, and then her profit's going to be so 70 honey. pesos. So, uh, but yeah, she'll sell these at the store. Uh, yeah. She has the, what is that, pepper... What is that? Pepper, what is that? Pepper seeds? Pepper seeds. Like pepper seeds. They have this, like, it's not really ground. Yeah, it's that's not grounded. Nice. And then she got the little grounded it's ones. Ground. She did all them last night. But it's very common. You see this at stores and markets and things. And, and that's what they do. You'll see them sitting there making these little packets of pepper and salt and spices. And that's what she's got. She's got a... Uh, uh, bygone. You just got a bygone. Uh, you can make this, you can also put this like a uh, candle. It's, it's, it's a bygone mosquito repellent. Yeah. So you're, you're killing like two birds with one stone. You're keeping the mosquitoes away. And you're uh, I'm making. sealing your bags. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, they sell this all over the place. And you know, yeah, the profit's not much. But you know what? Gives her something to do. Keeps her busy. And uh, she enjoys it. Nothing's really measured. Well, it's measured out, but it's not weighed out or anything like that. And then Anna Grace, she's got the job of cutting the bags this is the and checking for leaks. After, I know. Yeah. after cutting. There's the finished product. So, and there's Bachoy. There's Bachoy. Yeah, I always call him if I can see. <laughs> but that's what we're doing. We got to run over to the, um, the old apartment today, and clean up, grab a few more things that are still over there. And uh, what else we got? Oh, we got we got the door guys here. The go door guys are installing the door. I guess go this way. They're installing the door. Doors coming along. These guys know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, and the washer. This morning I turned on the washer, or look, turned on the washer, and it didn't work. And I was thinking, oh my God, now I got a problem with the washer. Um, and then the guy, the door guys, the gore, the gore, the gore guys, the door guys said that this power plug over here is 110. So obviously it won't work on 110. So I ran it over. Plugged it into a 220. Now the washer works. So thank God we didn't have a we didn't have a problem with the washer not working. Uh, still under warranty. It's under warranty for about another year or so. Anyways, that's what's going on this morning. Look, what are you doing? Giving the grass a haircut. You're giving the grass a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> I walked out here, and Lutz sitting out here on her little stool. All right. And she's got her scissor. Show the scissor, look. She's giving the grass a haircut. I told her, I said, I'll go, I'll go down to the hardware store. I'll buy like a trimmer to cut the grass. And she said, nah. What'd you say, I have nothing better to do? Yeah, I've nothing to do. I'm just taking my time. She's got nothing to do. Exactly, right? So she's out here giving the grass a haircut. Instead, I'm going to watch Netflix and all day night, all day long, just to watch a Korean movie and cry. Why just sit there and cut my 
giving the haircut in the grass. <laughs> right? Uh, God love her. Oh, she's gotten she's gotten quite a big cut here. You might get washed out maybe with some rain soon. Yeah. And old Bachoy, he was he was sitting over there. Because Lutz messing with the grass, he had a mess with the grass, so Bachoy was over there eating grass. I looked over, he had a whole mouthful of grass, he's just chewing away like it was tobacco. <laughs> God, I love her. Huh? Buang. Yeah, Buang. <laughs> Alright, look. I am going to go get a trimmer. Yeah. I'm not going to get a weed whack or anything like that. I will get a, uh, like a grass lopper to cut it. I don't know, grass doesn't, see, I mean, grass grows here, but it doesn't seem to grow like super fast, does it? Like back in the States. It doesn't seem to grow real fast. But, uh. It's grow faster if you're in the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> She's got her plants all lined up here now. Looks good. Put you on a time lapse. Huh? Put you on a time lapse. Yeah. Yeah. You were out here uh, maybe 45 minutes and she covered that much ground already. Job, Lut. You're doing yeah. a good job. All right. The neighbor lady saved <laughs> Lut Lut. <laughs> Gave her a pair of cutters. Maintenance guy here, he's going to sharpen it up, so look, we'll be able to cut the grass quicker. <laughs> yeah, but. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. That's sharp. <laughs> Not bad. Uh -oh. Give it a try, look. Give it a try. You got it, look. Look at you go. She'll be like, I don't like these. I like the scissors better. It is. <laughs> you buy her a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Hang on, he's got something to put on it. <laughs> I put a little bit of oil on it. Make it a little smoother. There you go. Oi! 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 Don't chop your tail off! <laughs> there it is, what? Oi! Oi! Wow, that's better, huh, Lloyd? Yeah. You're liking that now, huh? All right.
There it is, guys. There's the finished product. Looks good. Looks good. Looked at a good job. We're going to tear these out. We don't know what they are. But they're not a flower. At least we're told they were not a flower. Put some little flowers in there or something. We were smelling something stinking real bad over here. And we seen right there. Dead rat. Rotting away, stinking. <laughs> Let's mom dump some dirt on it. There's people. Cigarette butts. Yeah, there it is. Finished product. Looks good. Everything looks good. Tomorrow we'll hit the other side where Lutz going to plant her garden. Lutz's mom planted an orchid. So we're going to get an orchid going there. I can put some orchids on it. Never, never grew orchids, so I don't know how hard it is or how easy it is. You know, one of the things I notice here in evenings, like the area comes alive. There's the guys cross street. <laughs> Hello. They set up a barbecue. If it's not raining and they sell a barbecue on the street here, right there by the Sorry Sorry store. But yeah, the neighborhood here comes alive in the evening. People walking around, kids riding bicycles. Hello. <laughs> Uh, very friendly and I noticed too even uh, Even here you get you get people coming around selling balut and uh, ice cream and so I mean people do come in here They do cater to this area um, What else this morning there was a jeepney that came in it was full of produce look bought it some produce from them uh, tomatoes uh, onions garlic um, Just produce and she placed an order with them, so they'll be here tomorrow sometime and let place an order, so she's got an order coming. Um, but yeah, they, they, it seems like they cater to the area. You know, you're not completely, hang on. You're not completely 100% blocked off from civilization in here. Um, so yeah, let, let me show you the door here real quick. Uh, these guys put the door on. They did it. They did an amazing job. Uh, I was thoroughly impressed with them. I got my new maintenance guys because these guys—they're very professional. They know what they're doing. Um, but here's the door. Let's get ready to cook. Here's the door they installed. I mean, they did an awesome job. I mean, I was—I was impressed. We installed the door and we got the air conditioner in the bedroom installed uh, here's the thing <clears throat> these guys like I said they did they did a really good job let me turn the light on here they did a really good job um, they they these guys also what they do is they um, they clean air conditioners also as like a side thing uh, you know, like uh, that's what they do to make extra money. Uh, but there's the air conditioner. It's installed. I had to turn it down. It was so cold in this room. I turned it on high, turned it down low, and I came in here about an hour later, and it was like an ice box. But like I said, man, these guys, they tore this air conditioner apart. Um, they tore the fan out. They cleaned the fan. Um, I've had it clean in the past and they, these people come in, you know, they hose off the fins in the back and everything like that. Clean your screen, charge you, you know, 800 to 1,000 pesos and they don't do a thorough job. Where these guys, they did a thorough job. They had a power washer, they power washed the fins out, inside, outside. They cleaned in between all the fins in the back. Um, I was completely and thoroughly impressed with them. I know I'm saying that over and over again, but when, when, when somebody does a good job here, I will, I will give them all the credit they deserve. Um, and they only charge 700 pesos. So I had them here today, hung the door, did the air conditioner. They're here all day. Um, you know what? I paid them the 700 plus. There was two of them. I gave them 2,000 pesos. They kind of looked at me and they were kind of like laughing. I said to Lut, I said, was that not enough or what? And she said, no, they thought it was more than enough. But my thing is, if you do a good job, if you do a job and you're professional and you're thorough, and 
I don't have to worry about you. I will tip you good. I will give you a good tip. And they and they appreciate it, and I appreciated it. So um, that's what went on today. We never made it over to the apartment. Uh, we got to get over there. We actually we had to the, till the seventh to um, like get everything out of there and and hand in the keys and everything like that. So we'll we'll get over there. Um, but anyways, it was a fun day. It was a good day. Um, it was great to get out and do some yard work. That's the thing, like I've said in the past, here you can get bored very easily. And I think being here, having a yard, having a place to get out and do things, that'll take away some, you know, some of the boredom that you that you can run into here. So anyways, guys, I'm wrapping this one up. Tomorrow's a new day. Journey continues, and we'll see you then.